Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Um, just beaming in here for our uh, performing arts uh, event tonight. And uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and start by moving ahead to this next thing and give you a little teaser of what we got going on here. Let's move on. Okay, next slide. Let's go. Ah, sorry. It doesn't like it doesn't like going out of this. All right. So, um, just a really quick overview of what we offer in performing arts. Our classes are guitar, concert band, symphonic band, marching band is a activity most of the time. But once we are back to normal life. Uh, we do offer marching band PE, and those kids who qualify and take that will get some PE credit, which we will talk about as we get further into that possibility. And of course, we have our amazing concert choir program, and they have a variety of things that they do, both as part of their class and part of their extracurricular uh, life. On the theater side of the department, we offer Theater Arts One, which is for mostly for people who've never done anything in theater before. And it's mostly focused on acting and a little bit of introduction to all of the, all of the working parts of a theater. Theater Arts 2 uh, starts to delve a little bit further into design and directing. And Theater Arts 3 and 4 is much more advanced uh, coursework in any of those particular areas. And we are trying to build a technical theater program here at Del Mar. So we do have it on the books at the moment. And again, it's, um, it's about who signs up for it. So we are hoping to uh, get that the technical theater program off the ground and ready to go. Um, back over to our music world. Um, guitar is open to anybody. We do currently offer uh, beginning and intermediate levels within the same class period. Um, concert band is for uh, wind and percussion players. Sometimes a couple of uh, violins or some, something like that will sneak in. And that's all good. Uh, it's for those students who are um, maybe a little bit less experienced or beginners on an instrument, or in some cases, an advanced kid who is learning a secondary instrument. So that's it's a little bit slower pace. They um, they only perform two or three times a year, um, as opposed to the symphonic band, which is our more advanced group. The symphonic band is uh, by audition to get into it, and if a student is a incoming freshman and wants to be in symphonic band for next year, uh, they have to play their 12 major scales for me. And then we have a conversation as to whether it's a good fit or not. And then we make a decision whether concert band or symphonic band is the path that's gonna be best for them. Symphonic band performs uh, a little bit more. Uh, traditionally, they compete um, in fall festivals two or three times, plus our winter concert. In the spring, they perform at a couple of different festivals, plus our um, we host a uh, band festival, and of course our end of year spring concert. The marching band is a fall only class and activity that takes place from beginning of August, um, which is yes, before school starts because we have to do all of our training during band camp. And it goes all the way through until um, the, usually right before Thanksgiving break. And then it's done and we're done for the year. Concert Choir is a year-round course, and it uh, is designed for developing uh, young singers to be able to sing a wide variety of literature. We sing classical music, we sing jazz, we sing pop, sing Broadway, um, sing a little bit of everything. We sing in multiple languages. Um, it's a really great opportunity to give, get um, kind of a, a well-rounded approach to the vocal arts. And from there, we have kids who often go on to do lots of musical theater and have gone on to become music majors at uh, college, et cetera. 
Uh, let's see what's next. Ah, big news coming up this spring. Uh, we will be producing Frozen Kids. Um, I know that title sounds a little weird, but it is by, <laughs> it is from the Disney folks. Um, we're not freezing children. Uh, it is the story of Frozen that you all know and love, but it's been adapted for younger uh, um, cast members. Um, it's not exactly the Broadway version that's uh, that was on Broadway before we uh, went on uh, COVID break. But um, there are some uh, elements from the Broadway. Some of the songs from the Broadway production did make it into this production. So we're very excited uh, and we're launching that uh, this uh, week, actually. All right, that's coming soon. Uh, at the moment, it's planned to be a, um, a virtual performance, a, uh, an online streaming performance. But, you know, we're, we're ready to pivot back into in-person should circumstances allow. All righty. Here's a little taste from our women's ensemble that we did at our winter concert just this last uh, December. All righty, that was our women's ensemble from our concert choir. And um, that's the slides. If you are interested in finding out more, we also have a longer video that um, has the same two videos that you've already seen, plus our virtual marching band show from this past uh, fall season. If you're interested in watching that, it's on the homepage at delmarhspa.org, Delmar High School Performing Arts dot org um you can take it from there or i will also put that in the chat um let me stop sharing here and dub, dub, dub. whoops stop delmar hspa dot org it's in the chat uh, feel free to check that out and um 
you know, see what we're up to. Um, at this point, I've got about five minutes or so to do some questions. Uh, see, let's see. All right, so if you have a question, um, just pop it into Q&A and I'll get right to it. Uh, would the audition for symphonic band before we register for the class? Okay, here's the thing. Um, if you need a little bit more time to get that audition material ready, I'd say go ahead and sign up for the class. If need be, if we need to um, move you over to the other group, then we can do that a little bit later on. It's not a problem. Do you try out for marching band? No, we will take anybody with a pulse and a willingness to uh, work hard and have some fun. Um, it's it's a lot of fun to uh, to do that uh, class. Um, it is hard work and we have a lot of hours and you'll hear uh, some people say, oh my gosh, it's so much time. But I gotta tell you, um, the average GPA of our marching band kids is pretty high. Um, and they are very successful at time management. And one of the things that's great about the marching program, in fact, about all of our performing arts program is that it's not, most of the classes are mixed, uh, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So the folks who are the most versed in how to manage their time and how to deal with um, all of the different um, intricacies of different classes, we've got a group of kids that have already been through it. So your freshmen coming in, especially to marching band, because we start meeting before school starts, by the time school rolls around, they've already got a handful of friends who are upperclassmen who know what the deal is and can help them. Um, I can talk a little bit more about guitar. Guitar is a class that is um, open to anybody who wants to do it. We do have guitars that we loan. And um, we use a program called cmilearn.org, um, which is a wonderful interactive, uh, what we call a blended learning program. Um, yeah, any level of band for marching band? Uh, yes, that's, that's fine. We, we'll, you know what, it's any, any degree of experience is welcome in marching band. We're more than happy to have them. And if they are, you know, a little bit less experienced on their instrument, that's okay. We're gonna help build up those skill sets. Um, do you recommend choir or theater over either one? Of course not. It's each to their skills and each to their desires. Um, however, I will say, um, if you're looking to, you know, eventually do one of our musicals, it's always a good idea to have that background in, in vocal music. Um, if you're more interested in doing uh, just the plays or the technical theater, then you might want to do more in the theater side of things. Um, it just depends on what your what your students' um, passion is. And we're we're really um, we're big cheerleaders about pursue your passion, do the thing that's going to make you feel the most connected, the most joyful about what you're doing here. Um, and it's absolutely um, necessary to you know to be connected. Does theater arts require an audition? Not for the classes. For the classes, anybody can take a class. Um, we do recommend that if you've never taken a theater class that you do start with theater one. Uh, now, when it comes to the plays or the musicals, yes, you do need to audition. Um, I will say that um, when we start with um, the musical, we do try to make sure that everybody gets a role as much as is humanly possible. That isn't always the case with a play because there are limited limited opportunities in some of the plays. Um, can a student start in choir then switch to theater? No, that's not really how that works. Um, if you make a commitment, you're making a commitment for a year. Um, now, if after that year you decide it's just not your thing, then yes, you can switch, uh, you know, then. But we do ask that you give it a year because it takes time to first of all, get past that initial fear, especially for singers. You know, that first year of singing is, um, can be a little fraught and that's okay. That's okay. We need to take a little moment, train them, get them past that fear hurdle. And then we can always move on and do some exciting things from there. Well, we have about one more minute for questions. If anybody has any other questions, you can drop them in the Q&A. Well, 
thank you so much for coming tonight and and checking it out please do go to our website check out our other uh things that we have on there there's photos from past shows and past uh marching band shows that we've done all sorts of exciting information is on there plus an opportunity to get connected to our booster groups and find out how all of that functions and parents we love having parents get involved in everything for the marching band parents are really vital to us as are the parents who help with the musicals the plays with everything so um we try to make it a, a home for everybody awesome thanks mr b